So you can see this left hand sign has lines and the colors are not bright compared to the right side. So let's Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Eva. If you're not new here, thank you so much for returning. Today's video is super important because I'm going to show you guys how to get the best quality print when using an Epson EcoTank printer. Quality is always number one when you're selling anything or making anything. So that's why this video is so important. I'm going to show you guys how to go from this. You can tell these um, images are not the best quality. The colors are not bright and vivid. There's lines in the images if you cannot tell. I'm going to show you how to go from this to this. You can right off the bat tell that the colors are vibrant, beautiful, bright. There's no lines in the images. So if you're needing help with this or needing to learn how exactly to do this, this is the video for you. So watch until the end. All right, so let's get right into the video. I'm just showing a real quick close up so you can see this left hand sign has lines and the colors are not bright compared to the right side. So let's do it. Okay, this is what I'm going to be printing just to show you guys. This works with any printing, any software. It doesn't have to be through Cricut Design Space. So whenever you press print to whatever image you're wanting to use, you're going to turn off the bleed always. You are always going to use system dialog, then you're going to click print. The system dialog box is going to come up. Um, select the printer that you're using. I'm using the Epson 2760. I'm going to click preferences right here. Okay, so this is the important part when using system dialog for paper type. If you want the best quality, I always use premium presentation paper mat. And then for the quality here, standard, you wanna change it to high quality. And then of course in color, click okay. Once you have your high quality settings set up on your computer, before you press print, you wanna to go to your printer and make sure your settings are correct on there. So let's do that. Okay, now you're gonna come over here to your Epson printer. You're gonna go into your settings. So you just use the keys here, click settings. Then you're gonna go to printer setup. Then you're gonna go to paper source settings. Then you're gonna go to paper setting and then paper type. And then you wanna make sure that your paper type says premium matte as well. So whatever paper type that you put into your computer, you have to put onto your printer as well. They have to match or it's not going to print on the best quality. So now that this is done, we're going to go back on our computer and click print. This is what your images are going to look like when they're not printed on the best quality. You can tell it's not so great. Here they are side by side and you can obviously tell which one is the better print. Okay guys, so that's exactly how I do it. That's how I get my printing to go from this to this. I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. If you have any additional questions that I might not have answered or went over in the video, please comment them down below. I will be sure to answer you guys. If you learned anything, please give this video a like. And again, I hope you now know how to print on the best quality setting. And thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.